Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Alienware laptop. This one is an Alienware 17R5. This one comes with an Intel iCore 7 8th gen and GTX uh, 1060 with a 6 gig VRAM. And in this video, I'm going to take you over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove, and what are the maximum capacity on this storage on this device. There's some false information, even with the call center, if you call Dell, you, anywhere is, made, is from Dell, you call them up and they give you some bogus number on the SSD that you can put in here. Those are completely not true. We do this upgrade for our clients all the time, and we have tried many different configurations of the upgrade. I'm going to go over the, all those with you. Just remember, if you replace the main storage in here uh, with a new one, and then you have to reinstall your Windows on the new SSD, new hard drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. And I made another video how to properly install it on your Dell laptop. Follow any of my installation instructions, and then you have your Windows installed with no problem. This model is gets shipped with an M.2 SSD which is M.2 uh, SATA, which is much, much slower than NVMe. You can place an NVMe in here and put your system on an NVMe, which would be significantly faster. All right. So if you want to upgrade them, back up your files. Once you back up your files, you want to power it down, and you want to flip it upside down. It's pretty heavy. And down here, we're going to see big, huge cover. There's no tiny covers. So we're going to get our tools. Tool number one, I fix the screwdriver set. I purchase the basic set. We're gonna grab a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a metallic guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on hand, we're gonna get it started removing the screws. You're gonna remove three screws on the right and three screws on the left side. Uh, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. These screws are the same size and you can't mix, mix match them. There's no problem with that. So go ahead and remove these three screws, but do not touch this one. I'll tell you in a second. So go ahead and remove the right and left side the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. There we go. So we remove the screws. These all the screws are the same, so we're gonna keep it in one pile. Now, regarding the screw in here, this screw has a little something called a C lock. A C lock is a uh, C shaped metal on the other side that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So, and it serves another purpose: is to separate the case from the cover here. So, as soon as you start rotating this screw, you're gonna see a separation, a slight separation between the cover. It just pulls the cover away right there. And if you keep rotating, nothing's going to happen. All right? Now what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool, and you want to stick it right in there, and you want to just help it, and you want to hear those nice click sounds that the clips are getting loose, so you're not breaking anything. Go on the side, same thing, those big click sounds. Do that on the top side, on the right. Do not go on the bottom front. Do not do the front side. Just do the top and the side. So I'm sticking it there. And then just make a little left, go to the left side and the right side. Now, once you did the back and the side, you want to grab it from here, wiggle it around, bring it up in 45 degree, and then pull it back towards the back end of the laptop. So you can release these hooks on the front end, these tiny hooks. They go right through these ones right here. So if you left off from the front with the opening tool, you can break these tiny hooks. But the sides, you cannot break them. All right, now we can put this one to the one side. And down here, we can see a whole bunch of upgradabilities right here. So we have two types of SSDs that you can put. These are actually PCI M.2 PCI Express, and it says right over here. These are a Gen 3 PCI Express lanes right in here, and one short NVM uh, PCI Express right here. So that it says SSD 1, SSD 2, and SSD 3. The manufacturer will give you this one. I don't know why, why they didn't put it on SSD2 or a short one right here. I don't recommend to upgrade the short ones. Always go with a standard size SSD. And you have a 2.5 inch mechanical drive right in here that you can upgrade. So first you start with the NVMEs. 
I like it how they give you an extra screw right here to install your SSDs. If you want to install the SSD right in here, you can get an NVMe up to two or three terabyte. I don't know these short SSDs, NVMe's, they come up to two terabyte, I believe, not higher than that. You want to remove the screw at the back, and then you want to make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch right on the DIMM. And you want to place it in there in 20 degree angle, and it stays up just like that in an angle. And then if you push it down, it should, there's a, you push it down and the screw hole should match and then you just want to put the screw right on top and it will hold it in place. So I guess my SSD, I, I forgot the SSD has a little thermal pad on the back. I didn't see it getting stuck to it. So push it in there and bring it down and then put the screw for it. If the screw is not reaching, don't know why, but the screw is really short, you can get an M.2 screws for a little longer. I have one right here. So you can see they give you this short one, but this short one don't reach. So don't worry about it. I will leave link for the M.2 screws. Have a little longer one, not too long, and then screw it down. Now you can remove this other one. And now put it to one side. You can grab any NVMe standard size up to four terabyte, you can put an NVMe four terabyte here and NVMe four terabyte in here. The NVMe's are like this. This is a short version. This is a 500 gig for demonstration only. You can grab the four terabyte. We have upgraded with no problem and it works fine. You can put a gen four NVMe or gen three and it works as, in, because if this is a gen three, you can put a gen four, but it will work as a gen three specification. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, push it down, and put this tiny screw that they give you. Let's see if this one reaches. Yeah, this one reached. All right, you can put that one right here. To remove this main one, you remove one screw, and then slowly bring it up, and it stays in 45, and you want to pull it back. Right away, I can see this one has two notches. That means this is an M.2 SATA, which is much, much slower than NVMe. So you can grab this one and trash it and grab a, another four terabyte. So you can have a four terabyte, four terabyte, a two terabyte at the same time with no problem. Or you can keep this one and format it as a secondary storage for any other purposes that you have. So you can have all this at the same time. And in this side now we can go over the mechanical. You can have this one plus you can have any combination you want in here. You can have up to Four terabyte, I believe the mechanical drives, they come up to four terabyte, the standard size. Four terabyte mechanical drive, you're gonna remove one screw, two screws, three, four. Four chrome screws. This screw holds the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. So remove these four screws. You do not need to disconnect the battery to do this upgrade. It's absolutely not necessary, but if you want to be really cautious for some reason, you can pull this jack backward and it will get disconnected. It says here first, Disconnect the battery, but that's for doing a servicing. But if you're not servicing, you don't need to. To push it back in, just plug it in there. Now, once you remove the four screws from the caddy, you can just lift it up from any corner, bring it up. Just gently, because the cable tangles right through this screw. Untangle the cable. Now you can grab this flip thing, plastic thing that they have right on the connector and pull this plastic all the way up, straight upward, and goes back in, just push it down, all right? So they give you a Western Digital or HGST, brand HGST was bought up by Western Digital. This is a one terabyte, 7,200 RPM. It's a fast one, one terabyte, but you can get a two terabyte or four terabyte. After four terabyte mechanical drive becomes really thick and it will not fit in there. Or you can remove this one and you can put any size four terabyte NVMe, I mean, any SSD in here. To put any SSD or any mechanical drive, you need to disconnect this adapter. Has a little hook in here, it will prevent the adapter coming out. So all you need to do is to remove one, two, three, four, four screws on the side of the hard drive. But once you remove the screws, the orientation is very important. You want to lift up this caddy the same way that you removed it, put it on one side. Now you want to grab this adapter and you want to pull it back the way that you removed. 
and then grab the SSD that you have or mechanical drive you have you want to plug it right over like that and then grab this one hook it right on top and put the four screws that you remove from here and put it right on top as uh, this is for demonstration I'm not gonna do it I'm just showing you guys so to put it back on put the adapter it only goes in one way and put it right over and put the four screws And once you have the hard drive in there, first you want to put it down on the right in here, and then you can tangle this cable right through these grooves and bring the jack connector right, it, align it straight over the connector, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you should hear a click sound. Nice click sound. Make sure it sits in there firmly. And then you want to put the four screws for the caddy to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. Once you finish with all this, if you have disconnected the battery, plug, uh, plug it back in. And then one last thing is to grab the bottom cover, put it right, first put the bottom end in there, slide it in in 45 degree angle, push it down. And then what you want to do, you want to squeeze the corners and you want to hear those click sounds on the side. Squeeze and make sure, and don't press on the back mid, just to put it on the corners top side in here and then leave the one. Then you want to screw down the mid back and it will pull the cover to itself. And to finish it off, just put the rest of the screws back in place. Now, if you have removed the main SSD, then you have to reinstall. Once you power it on, it will say that there's no operating system. Plug in your USB Windows installation. And within less than 5 to 10 minutes, you are in the Windows. With a few Windows updates, all the drivers will be updated and you're set ready to go. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you can upgrade your storage for your Alienware 17R5.